Now in this next part then, we've got to find the bearing that the ship is going on. Well, what that means is that if we draw a north line in here, then what we're being asked to find is this angle here. Bearings, remember, always turn clockwise from north. So that's the angle we're trying to find. Now, to get that angle, what I notice is it is exactly the same as this angle over here. These two angles are alternate to one another. How can I get this angle? Well, I can now get it by using trigonometry from this triangle. I can say that we have the opposite side here to theta and we have the adjacent side to theta. And opposite over adjacent is tan. So tan of the angle theta equals the opposite, 12 divided by the adjacent, 16. 12 divided by 16 is 0 0.75. So theta is equal to the inverse tan of 0 0.75. And if you do that on the calculator, what you end up with is 36.869 and so on. And that's in degrees. So what is the bearing going to be? Well, therefore, let's just say that the bearing that S moves on equals... Now, bearings are given as three figures normally, so this would be 037 degrees to the nearest degree. And there is my answer. All right.